With more on Obama's proposed job plan, I'm joined from Washington by Christopher Sands. He's a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute. Hi there. Welcome to the program. Hi, thank you for having me. So this is deja vu. Uh, we went through this before in 2009 in these protectionist fears. Why are we facing this issue again? Well, it's ironic in a lot of ways. I think that when the first stimulus bill was put together, the idea was to signal to organized labor that the, um, that the Congress was really worried about jobs. They put in Buy American language. It's a classic signal to labor that they're going to help out organized labor and also try to promote jobs in a way that the average American can understand. You know, if we're spending a lot of money, we might as well employ taxpayers with it. Here we are a few years later. Now the president's in much worse trouble. Mm -hmm. He needs to shore up his labor union allies. He's sending the same signal. So in some ways, we're here for the same reasons we were there before, except that the president's even more desperate than he was last time. How could this potentially affect trade with Canada? Well, it's unlikely to have much effect. The first time that it came out, the original Buy American legislation in the stimulus bill, there were a lot of fears that it was possible that a public works contract that was actually being get let out by a state or a municipal government, maybe a county government, would look at the Buy American provisions, decide that they had to have as many materials as possible from the U.S. There wasn't any wiggle room, even though the bill provided that we'd be NAFTA consistent so we couldn't discriminate against Canada. But that might not know that at the local level, and they would possibly discriminate against Canada. And then people stretched it even further and said, well, maybe an American bidder, a prime contractor, might not buy Canadian materials out of a misinformed fear that Canada uh, wasn't eligible. So it was a sort of speculative guess that maybe possibly there would be harm, and Canada went into action. Here, it's even more speculative. Why? The president's job bill is unlikely to pass, first mm -hmm. of all, uh, even in this form. Secondly, uh, it's unlikely that these contracts will contain that much steel in the next year or so, and we're going to have congressional elections and presidential elections that are likely to change the whole equation, and they're coming up fast, just less, well, a little more than a year away. So it's very speculative to think that there's any impact that this is going to have on Canada uh, in their, any scenario. I'm curious, why don't you think the bill is going to pass? Well, first of all, the president's own Democrats in the House and Senate are saying openly now that it's unlikely that this bill will even get a hearing. The president said today that he'd be willing to sign pieces of it if that's all he can get through. Uh, and a lot of advisors around the president have suggested that what this bill is about is staking the, pro the president's position out, that he is fighting for jobs. He almost is baiting the Congress to reject it so that he can then run against the Congress and say, re-elect me because those guys aren't willing to do what it takes to get jobs uh, for you. And so it's a, it's a bit of a political uh, gesture. It's some theater going on in American politics. And as you know, we have a lot of theater in American politics. <laughs> uh, for me, the, the big question is whether Canada is going to be any more successful this time. Mm -hmm. If you look at what Canada did last time when the Buy American language came forward, there was a full court press. The Prime Minister mentioned yeah. it to the President several times. Congress was lectured on the danger of Buy American. And for all that effort, here we see the language coming back again. It's a real shame that despite what Canada did last time, it seems like they persuaded nobody, educated nobody on the dangers of this because we find ourselves in the same position despite those efforts. It makes me wonder whether it's worth ramping up that effort again mm, well, uh, if we get so little result. Right. Our Trade Minister Ed Fast says the government is going to fight this. So whether or not Barack Obama is willing to take that on, given the major problems he has at home, remains to be seen. Well, Christopher yep. Sands, thank you very much for being with us tonight. We do appreciate your thoughts on this. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.